The use of missiles dates back to the Vedic age in India. Indian warriors have used astras as missiles in various forms. From that period in the subcontinent, proofs of which can be drawn from a number of epics, such as the Mahabharata and the Ramayana. The deadly weapons, and the scriptures regarding the technology, were later concealed to prevent any future happenings, for the sake of the survival of mankind. Fighting the British colonial army, Tipu Sultan and his army, used thousands of rockets, resulting in the defeat of the troops in 1792 war. The rockets were attached with bamboo, or steel spears, and powered by gunpowder. Propellant compacted, in a cast iron chamber, with nozzle, and igniters capable of attacking enemy cavalry and soldiers. The modern day missiles have their roots, in Germany, as the country developed, the first successful guided missiles V1 and V2. After World War II, several other nations developed a variety of missile systems. India had mastered missile technology, from olden days. But it was left behind in this field, when the Britishers ruled the country. This was the time, when India decided to go ahead, with its integrated guided missile development program, headed by eminent scientist, and former president of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, who launched the first satellite launch vehicle, SLV-3, putting the Rohini satellite in orbit. The Integrated Guided Missile Development Program project began on July 26, 1983, at the Defense Research and Development Laboratory in Hyderabad. A host of missiles, including the Strategic Agni, Integrated Range Ballistic Missile, the Tactical Prithvi, the Akash and Trishal surface-to-air missiles and the NAG anti-tank guided missile were developed under the program. The project gave India the capability to produce indigenous missiles in other key areas as well. Indigenous development of the weapon was required to negate the dominance of Western nations who imposed their will on developing countries by enforcing pacts like the Missile Technology Control Regime. Such pacts were aimed at controlling access to and availability of advanced weapon systems to India. A new world order emerged after India carried out the nuclear experiment in May 1998 and became a nuclear weapon state. Today, India is one of the few countries in the world to have indigenously developed missile systems, including critical technologies like the re-entry tip for ballistic missiles. India has been testing several ranges of missiles for the past few days, with which India is becoming the king in attaining missile power. With this strength of India, the tension of China and Pakistan are increasing day by day. According to a recent report, India today has all kinds of modern missile powers. India can target countries with its missile, while the satellites in space can also be killed. India also has nuclear attack missiles from sea, sky and land. India is the fourth country in the world which has the strength of this kind. This power of India has increased the troubles of India's enemies. India has also acquired the technology of new hypersonic missile. India's scientists and engineers will also be able to make hypersonic missiles very soon. This will increase India's strength even more.